Hey, to see how to beautify a city. Dubai doesn't have any trees, it's a concrete jungle. So how did you learn that from Dubai? Uh, we found that in Dubai, they have, they have one of the best parks in the world with very big trees and amazing flowers and beauty that you can't believe it grows in a desert. And the challenge was, if it can grow in a desert, if this can grow in a desert, if you've been to Dubai, you've seen, you know, what they are able to do with the trees on the sideline, the palm trees and the forest, then you understand if you can do it in a desert, what about in a place where it rains more than the desert? And that was the lesson that was learned. Now, when it comes to my success in Machakos, I bought ambulances in Machakos that cut down the number, the time it took from a person from being taken to hospital from the half an hour to two hours on a border border to one to two to three minutes. When you call an ambulance in Machakos during my tenure, it took three to five minutes. We had one of the fastest, if not the fastest, response rate in the continent of Africa. Very successful. And it was so successful uh, that I was even given an award in Africa as the best governor in the continent of Africa. And the ambulances are still there in Machakos. And they're extremely successful. And the health system that I set up in Machakos, including building the first cancer ward, uh, the cancer center, which treated people free of charge uh, when you have cancer, to show that you don't have to have money to continue, has been quite successful. My track record in Machakos is known all over, the, all over this country. And all you need to do is just visit Machakos and as governor. And you could see the things that we did, the roads that we built, uh, the markets that we established, the stadiums that we put together, and you'll be able to see the track record. There are naysayers, people in the opposite. Yes, Nelson. I don't know what's happening with Andre Bambui and Andre Bamule. Is, is it something they know? Because yeah, they are laughing sheepishly. <laughs> Why are you giggling? Or, 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 or politics of Ukabani? Mr. Mr. Speaker, I didn't want to make any comment, but uh, I was member of parliament of Kadiani, which is in Machakos, when the Honorable Mutua was uh, governor. And uh, I mean, this is sounding like a movie. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, you know. Go on, go on. When I go on in, from where you left. Yes, when I worked in Machakos, I did amazing things like build the People's Park, the ambulances. And uh, there was a big opposition. And uh, because I was talking and doing things that they only see in movies, uh, they even started calling me Mutua Cinema because they only see it in movies. And uh, the people of Machakos were so happy, regardless of their campaigning against me, that they re-elected me for a second term. Very, very successful. Uh, and uh, I beat them hands down, actually. And so I, I, I would challenge, Mr. Speaker, the people of Machakos who benefited. In actual fact, Mr. Speaker, uh, there was a, there's a small problem happening in Machakos right now, and that is that uh, I, was a, I was approached by the officer in charge of registration uh, when I was completing my term and said that there's going to be a problem because a lot of children being born in Machakos are now called Alfred Mutua, but I said they are not mine. And they said it's because most of them now are born in ambulances that you put into place, because before, in Machakos now, you don't find child's children called in Zilani because they are born by the side of the road, you know, or others, because now people have that dignity. Uh, moving on to the question of uh, the squeezing of my, my, my hand, Mwishmu uh, Aruto uh, later introduced me to Zimwishmu Anyonyi from Damu uh, Onyama, who, who, who uh, I, I felt his grip of the hand, and I realized it was not actually squeezing of the, the, the 